Shalom, shalom, real motivation. Terrence McKinney back with a brand new video. Off top, I want to give all praises to the most high. Uh, today, I want to talk about the Buffalo shooter. And first, I want to uh, give my condolences to uh, all the families out there uh, uh, who had a victim in that horrendous massacre that happened against my people. And it's just crazy when you see stuff like that still happening to this day. Like, and, and as a people, we gotta know that, like, that's been happening since we've been in this long captivity. And it's hard to see something like that, you know, and, and just digest it. But it's it's not happening over, 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 and over again. And, and how I feel about it is, I feel like the only way we get a hedge and we get protection is if we turn back to our God, turn back to the law, turn back to the statutes, turn back to the testimony of the Messiah and keep the commandments. That's the only way. That's the only way that we get a hedge out here and, and protection. I mean, because besides that, that's that's the only person that's going to be able to save us and give us protection out here because ain't nothing else help. The laws that they change don't stop the killing, uh, don't stop the the massacres that, that happen on groups and groups and groups and groups of our people time after time. It seems like it seemed like every year or every couple of years we deal with some horrendous crimes that's happening to our people and, and everything we do is like null and void. Ain't no way to stop it. And the only thing that can save that and, and can stop us and prevent us from being in those places when stuff like that happen or prevent us from being the victims of them crimes is if we if we turn, you know, back to our God, you know, and and follow the commandments. I mean, you see in the Bible when uh the three Hebrew boys was in they was in captivity in Babylon and they got through in fire, through in the in the furnace, in the fire, like you know what I'm saying for for following, you know, for following their God. What happened? You know what I'm saying. God came and saved them and, and protected them. The same way when uh, I think it was then you got through in the lions then, and you know, and and guess what? You know, uh, the the lions didn't touch him. You know, I mean, you know, he spent the whole night and, and he was protected by God. And that's the same mentality we got to have. We we got to wake up and realize who we is and why some of this stuff keep happening to us. We, we you know, we, we the people of the book, you know, and we were sent in this captivity, you know, so we can, when all this stuff start happening to us, we can recognize who we is. We, we got a historical database to see what, what the only other people this happened to so we can turn back to our God and start worshiping him the right way. And the crazy part about it is I was late to the news because when it happened, it, it, it was on the Shabbat. And, and on the Shabbat, you know, I'm in the house, I'm meditating, you know, I'm studying with the family. Uh, I got all electronic devices cut off. I'm not paying attention to my phone. I'm not I'm not doing none of that stuff. Like, so when I caught the news, it was, it was actually like late Sunday for real. And I just heard people kept, continue to talk about it because, of course, I don't work on the Shabbat. Then when I went to work, I worked with a bunch of kids. I I, I mean, a, a lot of times, and I didn't hear nothing about it. And then when I got off, I started hearing about it. Once I, I finally got back, like and tapped what was going on to the world, like. And then as the day went on, I heard more and more about it. And then yesterday, I heard more and more about it, and, and it, it it just was devastating. Like videos, live streaming, manifestos all type of stuff and it, it, it's just crazy man it's just crazy it's just crazy and and part of me like no disrespect to the victims of it part of me just was like if, if no people knew who they was like they wouldn't have been in that supermarket on that saturday you know they would have been keeping the shabbat you know we don't spend we don't buy we don't do none of that on the shabbat we don't leave the houses like, but if them people, you know, them 10, you know, so-called black people knew who they was, they probably wouldn't even have been in that position. Now, granted, if that killer wanted to kill black people, he could, he might have waited on another day or he he might have just went somewhere else and, and, and did it again. Probably he could have came back on Sunday or on Monday or whatsoever and did it. But 
if we knew who we was, we we wouldn't have been in that supermarket spending no money. And it, and, it, and it's just crazy and it's sad, you know. And I just want my people to realize, you know, the only hedge of protection, the only chance we got. I don't care how many guns we buy, you know. Um, I don't care, you know, if we get in groups, we do marching, you know, we try to change these laws. It don't matter what we do while we in this captivity. Ain't none of it gonna ever work. The only thing that, only chance and shot that we ever got uh, of, of getting the hedge protection and, and being safe out here from any of this stuff is is the is the cry out to our God and keep the, the law, keep the statutes, keep the commands like, like the Bible tell us to do and keep the testimony and he gonna give us a hedge of protection and he gonna keep us away from all that. But that's that's the only only chance we got. That's the only chance we got. And I just want my people to know that. And it's just a quick video and I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. But you know, hopefully this, you know, reach somebody out there and they understand where I'm coming from. Uh, you know, please like, share, comment. And again, I wanna say my condolences to the family. Have a good one.